Good evening, and welcome to the Voorheesville Class of 2020 graduation. I would like to extend a welcome to all family, friends, and community members that could not be here tonight, but are watching through the live stream. I would like to thank Mr. McCree, the Board of Education, Mrs. Smith, Mr. Sapienza, and all the faculty and staff throughout the Voorheesville School District who played a role in getting us here today. I know this is not the senior year that any of us were expecting, but it's certainly one that we will never forget. And in these times, I think it's important not to focus on what we lost, but rather what we have. On behalf of the class of 2020, I would like to thank all faculty, parents, students, businesses, and community members that helped make this year special for us. The car parade, senior gift baskets, lawn signs, decorations in the park, and this graduation are just a few examples of what our community has done for us. Many of us have grown up in the Voorheesville community, and others have joined throughout our educational career. But today, we are one graduating class that the community is proud of and is celebrating all of our accomplishments. Today is our day to celebrate. Some of us will leave and join new communities, and others will stay here and continue to make the Voorheesville one great. But wherever we may end up, we all have roots in the Voorheesville community that will help shape us into the people we become. So let me be the first to say, congratulations, Voorheesville class of 2020. Graduates, you may keep your uh, you may keep your caps on. Anyone in a vehicle may remain seated. Will you all please join me for the pledge? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you.
Good evening. My name is Ellie Whiteman, and tonight I have the honor of introducing to you the class of 2020's friend of the class and guest speaker, Ms. Diane Francis. Ms. Francis is a Voorheeswell alum, graduating with the class of 1991. She worked as a physical therapy assistant and in photography before joining the Voorheeswell faculty, and we're so glad she did. Ms. Francis has been a part of our lives for quite a long time. As the incredible mother of our friend and now salutatorian, Julia Francis, she has known us through elementary, middle, and high school, and witnessed our growth into who we are today. Put simply, Ms. Francis is radiant. She never fails to brighten our days with a smile and some much needed positivity. Her genuine compassion has built a connection between herself and students, making her a trusted and admired faculty member. Ms. Francis, we are inspired by your commitment to the school community and are grateful to have spent our years at Voorheesville with you. When our skies are gray, you are our sunshine. Thank you. Let me begin by expressing how honored I am that you chose me to be the friend of the class of 2020 graduation speaker. I've had the great privilege of knowing many of you since kindergarten, first as a parent and then as a staff member here at Borisville. There has always been something special about your class. From the halls of the elementary school on open house night, parents could be heard saying, aren't these a great group of kids? They're going to be special. You have proven to be special in the way you interact with one another and your community. You have shared so many great moments together. Who could forget the memories of elementary school? Playing four square at lunch, the end of the year fifth grade trip to the great escape, and this best school day ever of elementary school, field day. There's running through the halls of middle school, teenage nights, eighth grade trip to New York City, high school spirit week, blackbird homecomings, Mr. Glad stories, singing the earth science with Mr. Young, and of course, the best prom ever at Glenn Sanders. And who could forget our history-making first-ever Voorheesville Senior Parade? There are the good memories that you will cherish and take with you as you move on to the chap next chapters in your lives. While there have also been some disappointments in these past few months of your senior year, try not to dwell on the memories you haven't made or the things you didn't get to do. But all your past years of memories remind you of how special the times were that you all shared throughout your years here at Voorheesville. Even though graduation did not turn out as you imagined in the beginning of the year, this is today your history-making graduation moment. You have a new experience that no other class before you has ever had. No one will ever forget the class seniors of 2020. You have a special story to share, not only about the events of your graduation, but about the events of the 2020 pandemic and how it shaped you as an individual. How you have risen to meet the challenges of the past few months has revealed real character. You had to have willingness to adapt from learning in the classroom to a new way of learning in your homes, new technology, and finding new ways to connect with one another, like virtual game nights, and actually using your phones to talk and not just text. You have learned valuable less life lessons of self-motivation, patience, the importance of communication, and above all else, kindness to others and to yourselves. As the class of 2020, you experienced the generosity, love, and admiration not just from your school, but the Voorheesville community as a whole. We are all in it together, and collectively, we can make a difference in tough times. Hard work, perseverance has brought you to this moment, and will continue to help you strive onward into your new experiences and opportunities in the future. You have not let the present events define you. Rather, you have chosen to continue to move forward and have shown your resilience and adaptability in these ever-changing times. I'd like to share with you one of my favorite quotes by Ralph Waldo Emerson. What lies behind us and what lies before us are tiny matters compared to what lies within us. Class of 2020, it is what lies within each of you that matters most. You are not defined by your past or current situation or even another person's opinion of you. Let your own unique qualities shine through. Be proud of who you are. No matter what lies before you, be true to yourselves. I hope all of you will find your own path that inspires and encourages you to be your best self. You are a remarkable group of young people. You will make a difference in the world. So go out, be fearless, and live your best life. 
Congratulations, class of 2020. I'm Amelia, and tonight I have the pleasure of introducing our salutatorian, Julia Francis. Julia and I met in preschool and have been friends ever since. As we grew up, it became clear to me that Julia is someone I should always keep in my life. She's obviously very smart, but she's also kind, funny, humble, and one of the most selfless people I know. In high school, Julia was an active member of Key Club and National Honor Society. She spent many hours after school and on weekends serving members of our community. She also played volleyball since seventh grade. Some of our best memories took place while playing on the varsity volleyball team from overnights in the same hotel room to eating at her fast food restaurant, Chick-fil-A, that is her favorite. <laughs> Julia also won a sportsmanship award at the state championships in 2018, which really shows her good character. Julia's kindness, along with her ability to have a constant positive attitude, is something she has had her whole life. No matter what is thrown Julia's way, she gets through it with a smile on her face, always able to see the silver lining. In the fall, Julia will be pursuing nursing at the University of Rhode Island. I am very proud to say that Julia is my best friend and I wish her the very best of luck. So please welcome Clayne A. Bowen's class of 2020 salutatorian, Julia Francis. Hi everyone, before I start my speech, I just wanna give some very important thank yous. I wanna thank our superintendent, Mr. McCree, our Dean of Students, Mr. Sapienza, our senior advisors, Mr. Lawrence and Mrs. Heidi, and our principal, Mrs. Schmitz, for always supporting us and for all of the effort and time they dedicated to organizing and planning today and making this graduation possible. I want to thank our amazing teachers and staff of Voorheesville High School. You've taught us much more than those things we were just supposed to learn. You've taught us life lessons along the way. You've believed in our potential and what we could be and do, even when we didn't yet believe it ourselves. I would like to thank my family for helping to make me the person I am today. Thank you to my parents for always supporting me and being there for me every day, especially my mom, because as you all know, she was with me at school every day. My grandparents, aunts and uncles, and my cousins who were the brothers I never had, as well as my extended family all over the country, especially in Indiana. I can't thank you enough for all of the beloved memories, laughs, and love you've given me through the years, and I hope you know how much I love you in return. Last but certainly not least, I need to give a special thank you to my friends. You are some of the most fun, warm-hearted, kind, and crazy individuals I've ever met, and I don't know where I'd be without you and all the wonderful memories we've made over the years, laughing until we cried and just always being there for each other. From our first day as freshmen with no clue what to do with ourselves to our last day as seniors ready to take on the world through the ups and downs that all of us have experienced, some greater than others, I believe high school will be an everlasting part in all of us. We have gotten through those ups and downs together. One of my favorite parts about having lived in Voorheesville was being able to go to a school where I knew everyone, and for the most part, we've all watched each other grow up. We've known each other from our first days of preschool and kindergarten to this last day of seniors in high school together. We have shared so many memories that I know I will be able to look back on. So I guess I have one more thank you, and that is to all my classmates. No matter who you are, no matter your hobbies or social life, popularity or grades, our class is like one big, fun, slightly dysfunctional family. Some of the friendships we have built here will be lifelong. Maybe someday when we're 40 years old and we get good news, we'll call our best friend from high school, and no matter how much time has passed, it'll feel like the last time you talked was yesterday. Other people you may never see again, but maybe at our 40 or 50 year reunion, you may have some stories to relive with those people you haven't seen since well today. Today especially, we get to celebrate those stories and memories in all of our years together. In the next stage of our lives, we will not be together. We'll be all over the country living our lives, but we will always have this common tie. I heard Mr. McCree say once during graduation planning that deep down, we will forever bleed purple and gold, and I believe that. But as you move on in your life, it's okay that you may want to forget about your little small town high school in Voorheesville, New York for a while, when a bunch of people don't even know where it is or how to pronounce it, and you just end up saying we're about 20 minutes from Albany. Leaving may give us more opportunities than staying, but sure enough, this school, this town, and this community have given us memories that will stick with us forever. 
Even though we will always remember Voorheesville, as we move on to the next stage of our lives, I know that wherever we go and whoever we become, we are all capable of great things. Whether you're going to college, starting a job, whatever your plans are for after high school, I believe that the people in our class can truly accomplish anything that they set their minds to. Growing up with you all has showed me what wonderful people you all are. Don't let anyone count you out before you have a chance and believe in yourselves because I do. I believe in us and our capacity for greatness. We are a generation that can truly change the world if we choose to. So choose to be kind to people, choose to give people a chance, choose to give more than take, and choose to have more kindness in the world when we are finished than when we began. As I end my speech, I wanted to share a quote that I really think encapsulates a high school experience by a person wise beyond his years, Winnie the Pooh. We didn't realize we were making memories. We just knew we were having fun. I will miss you all and want you to never forget to take time in your lives to not worry about the past or the future, but to live in the present and to just have fun and coincidentally make memories of a lifetime of happiness and a world worth living in. Congratulations, everyone. Good evening. My name is Erin Young. Parents, family, community, thank you so much for coming out and supporting us on this really nice evening. Graduates, friends, we did it, finally. During our years at Voorheesville, we have eaten many lunches in the Commons, over 1,000 lunches, actually. Whether we have bought our lunch, brought something from home, or just plain didn't eat, we have all seen or experienced firsthand the fight or flight response that comes from seeing someone start to walk up to the microwave just as you are going, about going to heat up your food. Words cannot truly describe the sadness of losing your spot in the microwave line and knowing that you will have to wait twice as long as normal for your next shot at heating up your food because that microwave has probably been there for longer than the class of 2020 has been alive. That being said, it is my honor to announce that this year, the class of 2020 will be gifting the school a new microwave and toaster and donating the rest of our remaining funds to the incoming freshmen or the class of 2024. Personally, I'm glad to know that the legacy of our class and what we are physically leaving behind directly relates to food. Thank you and have a great rest of your night. I'm Jenny Bogart, and I'm honored to introduce Renee Bogdani. I'm so grateful to have had Renee as a classmate, teammate, and best friend for as long as I can remember. We've done pretty much everything together, and I'm so grateful to have someone so amazing and caring by my side. Renee is one of the most dedicated and hardworking people that I know. I'm always amazed at how much time and effort Renee is able to put into everything she does. Um, in addition to taking multiple AP classes, Renee is on the Science Olympiad team, and she's a member of National Honor Society and SAD. She has also played soccer and basketball throughout high school, and she was a captain of the basketball team this year. Renee will be attending RIT this fall to study human-centered computing. I can't wait to see all the amazing things she will do. Please welcome Voorheesville's class of 2020 valedictorian, Renee Bogdani. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. And I just wanna say, class of 2020, congratulations. I'm so honored to have this opportunity to speak in front of you all today. Our class has accomplished so much over the past four years in sports, clubs, concerts, and charity work. We've all done amazing things, but perhaps one of the most important accomplishments is that we are here today. We have finally made it through our four years of high school and we are graduating. It is crazy to think about. There are so many people who supported us and helped us along the way, and so we have many people to thank. First, I'd like to thank all of the administrators here at Voorheesville. First, Mr. McCree, our new superintendent, who has dealt with so many strange and surprising issues in such a short time here. 
Thank you. Ms. Schmitz, your enthusiasm is truly unmatched, and I admire how much you genuinely care about each and every student. Mr. Sapienza, thank you for all of the extra planning and work you've put into the senior parade in this graduation. Also, a big thank you to Mr. Lawrence and Mrs. Heidi, our class advisors, and also everyone else who helped put this graduation ceremony together. We are extremely lucky to have this ceremony today, and I am so grateful that we could be here to celebrate the class together. Thank you to all my teachers. You have all taught me so much. For example, I don't think I can do math again without thinking of Ms. Doyle's work smarter, not harder. I'm also going to miss Mr. Young's wonderful guitar playing and singing, Mr. Sheehan playing random music in the background of Psych, and of course, Ms. Simon singing of Adub's birthday rap. I appreciate all of your hard work caring for students, especially these past few months with new challenges to stay home and teach. I'd especially like to thank my family. My parents, you've always been there to help me with whatever I need, whether it was trying to help me learn basic directions around Voiceville, helping me with basically every single physics challenge problem, or helping me with this very graduation speech. Also, thank you for coaching me in sports for so many years and always coming to my games. My sister, you never fail to cheer me up when I need it most. Thank you for all of your advice. I'm sorry I don't always listen to it, but I truly do appreciate it. My brother, you're always there for me no matter what, and I love that we can talk in TV and movie references while the rest of our family doesn't have any idea what we're talking about. And of course, I have to thank my cat, Cassie. Lastly, I'd like to thank all of my friends and classmates. You have all helped to push me in academics, inspire me in sports, and showed compassion and generosity in your dedication to volunteer service. I truly appreciate it. I've made so many memories here, so many memories here. And while it seems that someone really didn't want us here for this past year, first our school's boiler broke down, and then of course quarantine, we've still spent so much time in school, and it's been a large part of our lives. It is bittersweet, but we're no longer going to be high school students next year, and our lives are going to change. And who knows what's going to happen in the rest of our lives. If we have learned anything, it's that things can change quickly and unexpectedly. I think that 2020 is a pretty good example of this. I know this isn't what I expected for my senior year. The last day was a random Friday in March where Ms. Simon was telling our chemistry class that we definitely have school on Monday. But we never went back. And sometimes this uncertainty can be stressful and scary. It seems as if there's always something to worry about. It could be a research paper from Ms. Levy that you know will come back with more red ink than black, or it could be a sectional game where it feels like there is so much pressure to win. And you can't always predict how things will end up. When I think about this, I think back to when I was a freshman in high school. A senior there at the time gave me some advice that I still remember today. She told me to make the most of every single year in high school. She said there were things she wished she could go back and do differently, relationships she wished she could she had kept times when she had wished she had tried harder in school or problems she wished she had handled differently. I still had most of my career, in my high school career, in front of me at this point. And thinking about her advice now, did I do everything perfectly? Of course not. I don't think her advice meant to do everything perfectly so that you have no regrets, but rather that we should enjoy life and be thankful for what we have now. You can't go back to the past, but you can learn from it. You should take time to appreciate things in the present as the future is not definite. There are very few mistakes you cannot fix, so don't stress about the future. And no one's going to make zero mistakes, but we can grow, improve, and change with our experiences and the lessons we've learned. And for the things you can't go back and fix, you can do better next time. And I think that's what's important. Not that we always do the right thing all the time, but that we try to get better with each experience. There's a quote from the TV show, The Good Place, that says, it turns out life isn't a puzzle that can be solved one time and it's done. You wake up every day and you solve it again. Things can go in unexpected ways and you can't always have a plan for everything. And you can't always find one perfect solution for every single problem. But all you can do is keep figuring out things along the way. Plus, our class has already had to adapt to new situations this year and I think that we will be well prepared for the challenges in our future. Although I can only speak from my limited life experience, I'm only 18. While this advice may not help each and every one of you, what I do hope you take away from my speech is that you should learn as much as you, as you can. Learn from your experiences, learn from your past mistakes, and learn from everyone around you. Never stop learning. I hope you all continue to stay safe and have a wonderful summer. Thank you. Good evening, family, peers, and fellow graduates. My name is Margaret Thayer, and it is my great honor to introduce the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Frank McCree. 
Mr. McCree has spent much of his career working in various school districts. Prior to beginning his work at BCSD, he has worked in Duanesburg, Lansingburg, and Salem Central School Districts. Although his time working at Voorheesville has been brief, it has not been boring. From boiler breaks to managing three schools amidst the coronavirus pandemic, Mr. McCree has risen to the challenge in leading the district during his seven months as superintendent. But these accomplishments are not what make him so impressive. What makes him so impressive is his capacity to care for everyone he works with. During his inaugural year at VCSD, many, including myself, have had the pleasure of working with him. Not only is he caring, but compassionate and considerate of everyone's views and opinions. Because of that, I can happily and proudly introduce the Superintendent of Schools, Mr. Frank McCree. I am more the guy, than the guy that's actually Lysoling this every time someone speaks. <laughs> Thank you, Board of Education, Voorheesville staff and faculty, the Voorheesville community, and most importantly, you, the students, for this opportunity right here. I lived in this community for almost my adult life, 15 years, and you know what? Speaking at this commencement ceremony is where I am a member of this community. It means so much to me that I'll take all the way into my career. But before I begin my speech, I would like to share another message with you from someone who deeply cares and values you. Surprise! Thank you, Mr. McCree, and members of the Voorheesville Central School District Board of Education for giving me one last opportunity to address my seniors. Almost graduates, throughout every day of the last four years, you have known that I believe in you that I have been devoted to fostering experiences that help you grow, and that I love you. You have been surrounded by those who feel the very same way and who walk that walk each day. Now, it's your turn. Do not what you think will make us even prouder, but what makes you proud of yourselves. Start each day with the knowledge and the confidence that you have the power to improve someone else's life or maybe even several people's lives. Make a marked moment or minute or maybe even hour. I'm not saying that you all must join the Peace Corps or work for nonprofit organizations, rather I'm urging you to do something each day that when your head hits the pillow later that night makes you smile knowing that you made a positive difference. Thank you for having done that for us. You've made our lives better, richer, and more enriching. Now, almost graduates of the Clayton A. Boughton High School Class of 2020, do that for yourselves. Thank you, Mrs. Schmitz. Class of 2020, you are the fortunate few to graduate in a year that will go down in the history books, a year that will be part of the curriculum actually taught to future graduates. I know that listening to speakers is part of the graduation process, but it's not the major reason we're here. You are all waiting for that one singular moment that moment when you hear your name or the name of a loved one called to acknowledge their accomplishment of receiving their diploma. As the ceremony proceeds, I'm sure you're beginning to anticipate that special moment, growing anxious with every second that passes. For parents, I'm sure that you're feeling the countless emotions when you prepare to capture that moment to memory, just like you did when you maybe heard your child's first words, or seeing their first steps, or any time that there was a first in your child's life. And for you students, your anticipation walking to that stage that will seem like an eternity. But I want to let you in on a little secret. All the hard stuff has passed. The work, endless support, goal setting, determination to get to this point, it's already been accomplished. The ceremony marks the moment in time that begins, ends, and continues with the legacy of your name. Your name means so much more than just the title of your being. It carries the weight of your past and the unpredictability of your future. Shortly after you entered this world, you were given a name. This was one of the very first gifts given to you. As your name was bestowed upon you, your loved ones placed their hopes and dreams for you in your own hands, such as having a full and healthy life, 
making sure that you were raised with values and morals, being successful, having the capability to learn and overcome adversity, and one day making it through the most important milestones of your life, such as re receiving a high school diploma. Many of you are named after loved ones who are the seconds, thirds, or even fifths of the same name. Your name can show your heritage and has inherent power behind it. Your name carried weight even before you could make it your own. Although you were given a name, each of you have the choice of defining what your name means. Each action, decision, choice that is made, goal that is set and attained, or failure, adds to what meaning your name has. The utterance of your name can bring on a negative or positive association, depending on your past, most recent, and future actions. You have chosen what your name will represent here tonight as it echoes through the Heldebergs. Students, you have made your name, and in a few short moments, I will have the opportunity to deliver your name to the masses. I will not read your name. I will say it with pride and conviction for everyone to hear, like a beacon of light shooting through the white noise of the idling cars from the crowd. Each name will reverberate around us, adding to the energy that will erupt in cheers or car horns as the class of 2020 is announced. For us as a school, we may have heard your name maybe four years ago as you entered high school or on a transcript as a transfer or on the first day of kindergarten, but we didn't know you. We saw your names on paper, your files, and your grades. You were no more than that, rosters that teachers receive in September. But you become more. You are now part of the VCSD family. Your name lines our walls as our successes for years to come. For us as educators, your names are what defines us. Days, months, years from now, we will use your name in a story. Think back on a time that involved a student that changed your philosophies just by saying a name. This is the legacy you leave for us. Understand that your name becomes part of the tapestry that makes us educators. After all the names are said and the night is over, your names will become part of our graduation files. Yes, sadly, you'll no longer be a part of the day-to-day -day at Clayton A. Bowton, but your name will create the foundation of what this district is built on. Imagine all the names that have been said before yours, the countless stories that were told as those names were in school, and then the impact and legacy those names have left on the world. Graduates' names are not faceless. These names leave an everlasting mark on countless lives and communities far beyond our understanding. You, the class of 2020, are no different. Your past is unset, but your future is open. Let your actions define you. Let your name always demand the admiration that you receive here tonight. And always remember the name of your second home and the honor of the purple and gold. Congratulations, class of 2020. Hi, I'm Caden, and tonight I'm introducing Mr. Andrew Sheehan. After graduating from Albany with a dual major in history and English and a master's of science in secondary education, Mr. Sheehan began his teaching career at Lansingburg High School for six years before joining our school in 2015. He quickly became a big part of the school community, teaching five classes and becoming a part of three clubs. Nearly every student in the class of 2020 has been lucky enough to either experience Mr. Sheehan as a teacher or participate in a club with him. Mr. Sheehan is so much more than a teacher. He not only teaches you the curriculum for the class, but also teaches important life lessons and takes the extra steps to show he truly cares. In my psychology class, he spent days set letting us anonymously submit problems and just giving out advice. Mr. Sheehan also consistently uses his family and students as examples in class, not only drawing in our attention, but showing us that he really cares and notices little details about us. Outside of the classroom, he can be found playing ping pong with Mr. Lawrence, discussing sitcoms, or debating with a fellow teacher. He is always a reliable source of entertainment, but he is also always there to listen, offer support and encouragement, and give you some positivity. His addition to our school truly changed it for the better. He exemplifies exactly what our school needed, someone who is passionate and genuinely cares. I personally am very lucky to have been able to have four classes with Mr. Sheehan. I've learned so much from him over my high school career, not only about global psychology, but also several life lessons, such as putting myself first. I think every one of my classmates will agree, high school is tough for so many reasons. But with teachers like Mr. Sheehan, high school is much more bearable, sometimes even fun. I am forever thankful for the lessons I've learned from Mr. Sheehan and the experiences I've had with him, as I'm sure the majority of the class would agree. With that, it is my pleasure to introduce a special person to the whole class, Mr. Andrew Sheehan.
Thank you, Kane, for that kind introduction. Good evening to the members of the board, Mr. McCree, administration, faculty, community, and family members, and of course, graduating class of 2020. I'm tremendously honored to be chosen to speak to you tonight during your first step in this next chapter of your lives. I have to start actually tonight by apologizing to you, some of you, because as I sat down to write this speech, I realized how difficult it is to write a graduation speech while being in quarantine for four straight months with a six-year-old and a three-year-old. I'm sorry, then, for not taking you up on your offers of babysitting when I had the chance. On the bright side, your hourly rage has skyrocketed. I want to begin with something very simple yet significant, and that's to say how very much I've missed seeing all of you. The time we've spent together, whether it be in the traditional classroom setting, distance learning, or simply, as Kane said, just stopping by my room or seeing you in the hallway to chat, those are memories that I cherish. They're the reasons we teach. A teacher doesn't go into this profession for love of the curriculum. You're the reason. As teachers, we're given prep periods where we're allowed to work on our curriculum and plan. Those are the times I've missed the most. That's because those are the times we got to discuss what's the best Taylor Swift album. It's red, by the way, obviously. Um, those are the times you let me join playing Dungeons and Dragons on your campaigns and didn't care that I clearly understood none of the rules. Those were the times where you tried to convince me I could fix my car myself while failing to mention half the tools needed to do the job. But those were also the times when you learned about my family and I learned about yours, when we shared our triumphs and our losses. Those were the times when curriculum was created, when evidence of learning was present. That's because of a very simple truth. No significant learning happens without significant relationships. You are the graduating class of the Voorheesville School District. You are the class that has endured a global pandemic and will continue to endure as you transition on this next step of your life. You are the class that has seen a resurgence of the Black Lives Matter movement, the heightened awareness of systemic inequality and biases that permeate our society. You are the generation that's driven, vocal, and passionate. You are the class that emboldens others to act where inaction is prevalent. It is your convictions that will serve as a driving force as we move forward. And while opinions are prevalent and these traits that you hold are important, learning must always be paramount. And so again, I repeat, no significant learning can occur without a significant relationship first. The reason why this is the message I leave you with is because simply this community doesn't produce followers. At one point in your life, you'll be asked to lead and the people you lead will need to learn from you. So to paraphrase Dr. Stephen Covey, if you want to be understood, seek first to understand. Now, you may not realize this, but many of you are already wonderful teachers. I've learned countless lessons from you during my time with you, some since you were freshmen, one that will always stick with me. I had no idea that the combination of the letters O and the letter K and certain punctuation marks can mean and emote very different feelings in a text message. For parents, family members that may be aware of this or maybe not, just in case you don't already know, if you get the text that just says K, everything is good. KK also means everything is good. OK means it is not OK. OK period means run. And so let me be one of the first to thank you for the privilege of being one of your students and certainly not one of your last. I wish you all tremendous success in your lives and congratulations to you, the graduating class of 2020. Thank you. And now for the fun part. Tell me when you're ready. All right. Thanks. And now, Mrs. Monahan and members of the Board of Education. It is my honor to present to you the Clayton A. Bowton High School Class of 2020. The 91 members of this graduating class have completed their course of study as prescribed by the Board of Education and approved by the University of the State of New York for the Clayton A. Bowton High School and are, therefore, entitled to their diplomas. 
Salutatorian, Julia A. Francis. Colin Andrew Prantzel. Michael Richard Strauss. Lauren Rose Brumley. <laughs> Ellie Whiteman. Amelia A. Rowland. Aaron M. Young. Jennifer Grace Bogart. Margaret Rose Thayer. Caden Grace Smith. Nora Abdallah. Nicholas James Angelo. Catherine J. Bablin. Conrad Mark Becker. David Eric Bettinger. Adam Michael Bernacki. Samuel Anthony Boyce. <laughs> Hannah Bonner. Matthew Richard Brumley. Mackenzie Elizabeth Bruno.
Lily Jane Burke. Megan Grace Burke. Evan Carl. Connor Lewis Casolo. Christopher C. DeAngelis, Jr. Evangeline E. DeAngelis. Cassidy Lynn Dennis. Jack T. Enslin. Xavier Alexander Epps. Robert Christian Erickson. Gavin Greer Esposito. <laughs> Wyatt Evans Bidwell. Abigail S. Feck. Sean Foley. Ashley L. Gifford. Amanda A. Gillen Walters. Julia Michelle Gleesman. Caitlin Ree Hampston. Ethan Patrick Hartman. (laughs) 
Mary McManus Hennessy. Marissa Herr. Alex L. Honig. Connor E. Horn. Nicholas R. Apolito. Madeline E. Jones. Daniel Dimitri Kikis. Carissa Alexis Kendall. Calabria Lawrence. Kaylin Mahan Lawson. <laughs> Hannah Rose Levitt. Ryan J. Logan. <laughs> Louis Lopi Jr. Gianna Ashlyn Lasavio. Thank you. Congratulations, G. Thank you. Anya Lucas. Jillian Mitchell. <laughs> Emily S. Monahan. Lucas Morrison in absentia. Ayla Jane Morwin. <laughs> Thank you. 
Danielle Francis Nichols. Angela Rose O'Connor. Luke Richard Palmer. Nicholas A. Panessa. <laughs> Emma Parker. Noah William Parker. Aaron Nicole Payne. Madeline Pelletier. Anthony B. Puma. Leah C. Riley. <laughs> William Richard Riley. Trevor E. Relier. <laughs> Emma Evelyn Reese. Stephen David Richmond in absentia. Kaylin L. Romani. Jared A. Rowland. Kylie A. Rowland. <laughs> Colin Joseph Sapienza. Kira Ray Schaefer. Yeah. 
Jacob Sheridan. Evelyn Schillinglaw. Emily Maria Skinner. Liam Spolin. <laughs> Sophia Yuda Stampalia. Luke Andrew Scarsaletta Strout. Matthew Nicholas Tipton. Paul Nicholas Tipton. <laughs> Timor Shaw Wardag. Celia Broderick Whalen. <laughs> Samuel Eleazar Wickstorm. Jack Whitman. <laughs> Kennedy Wood. Sydney Elise Worthley. And now, accepting the applause for the graduating class of 2020, valedictorian Renee Catherine Bogdani. As we begin to conclude our ceremony, let's try that one more time. I don't think they could hear us up on the hill. These kids deserve it.
That was worth it. Now, we have a great thing in store for us for the rest of the evening. Students will have the choice to either go back to the cars with their families or sit with the class of 2020 as we watch the senior slideshow. And then, thank you to Jim Nichols Memorial Fund for a fireworks demonstration in, our, in their honor. We hope you enjoy the show. Thank you very much. At the end, the fire police will show you their way out. Please stay with your families in your cars. Thank you very much and have a wonderful evening.
Ladies and gentlemen, for your safety, as you exit the grounds, please start with the last row of cars and then continue forward to the front. Thank you and have a great evening.